Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Super Wrestling Federation's Saturday Night Power Slam. And tonight we have tag team action scheduled for you as the Samoan Savage Hawaiian Steve tags up with an unlikely ally, the knucklehead Ricky Mortal. These two are stapled names here at the SWF and tonight they're fighting on the same team. But it's not going to be an easy contest because they're going against a very devious duo. I'm talking, of course, about the Feaster of Fears, the Prowler, and the Devil's Advocate, Damian Reed, the Hell Spawners. We saw the Hell Spawners in a brutal match against the Trout Busters at the SWF Halloween Spectacular. Face your fears. They would come up short, but man, oh man, did they bring the pain. Did they bring the competition that the Trout Busters were looking for. These two are going to be very dangerous opponents Fight. for the Samoan Savage and the Knucklehead. And look, we've said it before, we'll say it again. Ricky Mortal, the Knucklehead. He lives up to the name. He's got a few loose screws in his head. He's not the brightest crayon in the cramp box, not the sharpest knife in the shed. But man, does he have heart. He has passion. He's a hard worker. He wants to make something of himself. He wants to be a star. He wants to be a future SWF world champion. And while the guy's goofy, a bit dim-witted, he means well, I respect him for that. I've seen this guy stand in the pouring rain to sign autographs for fans. I've seen him stay two hours after the show to interact with fans, even when he wasn't being paid to do so. The man is passionate. The man's good-hearted. And I think that's everything that you need to be a future SWF world champion. And I think over time, he'll mature, he'll grow. He'll become smarter. He'll probably grow out of the knucklehead phase. He'll be a more serious competitor. But right now, I think we should enjoy him for what he is. The man with the heart of gold. The man with passion. That's everything that professional wrestling needs is passion. We don't want people to come here for money. We don't want people to come here for fame. We want people that want to, that want to put on the best possible performance. That they want to build legacies. They want to be the champion. They want to send the fans home with a smile on their face. They want people that go out to the video store, rent the VHS bar tapings of our shows, and enjoy it. And we want to know that they get their money's worth. And we know that Ricky Mortal is the guy that wants to send people home happy. And he wants to make the crowd have the best time imaginable at these events. And you know who else likes to do that? The Samoan Savage Hawaiian Steve. He's a very big people pleaser. The man is big, bad, full of tattoos, but don't be fooled. This guy's very intelligent. He's very brutal, very crafty in the ring. He's the only guy I've ever met that wrestles with sandals. I gotta say, that's very impressive. Everyone else has wrestling boots. This guy wrestles in flip-flops. I can't imagine that's easy. I imagine that takes a lot of extra training. Because I don't know how anyone could do that without them falling off their feet. I can't even walk with them without them falling off my feet. This guy wrestles in it. This guy is so well-conditioned. So mentally strong, prepared. He prepares for big matches by breaking coconuts over his head. He relaxes by surfing the high tides. His finishing maneuver is called the Tidal Wave Suplex. This guy is dedicated to the Five beach. This guy is dedicated to relaxing, but he's also dedicated to working hard. And he likes to put on a great performance for the fans as well. He's a big fan of professional wrestling. And he's a big staple here at the SWF, as is his tag team partner. And as is his tag team opponents on the other side of the ring. While they may not be the most beloved, well, oh my God, hold on a second there. He's got a scythe, I think. He just he just had a scythe and rubbed it across the face of Ricky Mortal, and he just made it bleed. Oh my gosh. This, this just really took up a whole other whole other level. This is the Prowler. It's Prowler's rule. That means no counters, no disqualifications. Look, he's choking him, and I think uh, there's blood there, blood staining the mat. What I was trying to say, folks, is that Ricky Mortal is a staple here at the SWF. Hawaiian Steve, ooh, that's going to damage the kneecaps, is also a staple here at the SWF. And while they may not be the most liked, while they may be one of the most brutal, gruesome, unlikable duo, the dastardly duo of Damian Reed and the Prowler are also staple names here at the SWF. The Hell Spawners are a devious duo. They're a devastating tag team. They're tough as tough. Diamonds in the rough. And look at that, all four competitors on the outside going at it. And look at that, someone brought out a barbed wire baseball bat. Look at that, Samoan Savage Hawaii and Steve trying to defend his friend, his tag team partner. Oh my gosh, chaos is erupting right now. 
So much going on. There's a steel chair. There's a barbed wire. A baseball bat. Venom being spinned to the sky. Blood stains on the concrete floor. All four men going at it. It's hard to keep up with all this action. Looks like Ricky Morton taking down both competitors of the opposite team. Ed Zagiri. Both men down. The Prowler. Ricky Morton going at it. Hawaiian Steve going at it with, with Damian Reed. Thrown right to the guardrail is Ricky Mortal. Chaos ensued. Ricky Mortal standing at the top of the ring shrugging. I don't know what he's shrugging about. He needs to get down there and help his partner. He's being double teamed. What is Ricky Mortal doing? You know I speak all these good things about Ricky Mortal. Then he just stands there and shrugs. I don't know what's going on in that guy's head. What is he doing? Why is he helping his partner? Oh my goodness, the barbed wire baseball bat right across the chest of the Samoan Savage Hawaiian Steve. I think Hawaiian Steve has been busted open. Can't get a good look on Hawaiian Steve, but I think there's some blood on Hawaiian Steve. Oh no, death by nightmare. The finishing maneuver. The finishing maneuver of the Prowler. Look at that drop kick to the back of the head by... By Damien Reed to the head of Hawaiian Steve. Kick to the back of the head. He's down. Yes, Hawaiian Steve is also bleeding. Both members of Team Hawaiian Steve and Ricky Mortal are busted open. Samoa drop. Turning the tides back into the favor of Steve and Ricky. Ricky Mortal saving his partner from being kicked in the head. I don't know where that was earlier. He was too busy shrugging at the top of the ring. I don't know what was going on there. But it looks like he's back in the game. He's back in the game now. Monkey flip. Reed goes flying. Russian leg sweep. Down goes one half of the hell spawners. Damien Reed looks like he's going to go tag in the Prowler. The Prowler now the legal man in. The knucklehead fighting off both members of the hell spawners. Dragging away the carcass. Wait a second. I thought he was going to go tag in Steve. But no. He tried to hit him with the baseball bat but he missed. I'm betting he's wishing he hit that shot now because he just took three elbows to the face. Now he's being stabbed in the face with a fork. Hawaiian Steve protects his partner. No disqualifications, folks. This is Prowler's rules. As a part of the contract of the Prowler, all matches involving the Prowler are no count of no disqualifications. Look at this. Humiliating him. Hawaiian Steve trying to stop Damian Reed from an Interrupting that submission hold, and he does so successfully. Now back on the outside. Kick to the groin by the Prowler. Spinning Venom into the sky. Ricky Mortal in danger. Laying on the barbed wire baseball bat. Jawbreaker to the Prowler. Ricky Mortal needs to tag in his partner. He does so successfully. Hawaiian Steve now in the match. The Samoan Savage watching on. Jawbreaker. Courtesy of Ricky Mortal. Here goes Hawaiian Steve off the ropes and kick to the head. Taking down the Feaster of Fears. Kick to the head once again. The Prowler running away. Double suplex. Hawaiian Steve suplex to the outside. Ricky Mortal now entering the ring. Oh no. Oh no, the baseball bat. Being struck into Hawaiian Steve, who's now facing the Prowler on the outside. Kick to the groin. Ricky Mortal going for a pin, but he's not the legal man in the match. The guy truly is the knucklehead. I would love to know what color the sky is in the world that he lives in, because he's not from this planet. What a maneuver there. The Devil's Kiss. The finishing maneuver of Damian Reed hit on Ricky Mortal. Ricky Mortal not the legal man though. Hawaiian Steve is. And right now Hawaiian Steve is taking a beating by Damian Reed. The Devil's Advocate now being thrown into the corner. Wait a second now. Devil's Kiss. Devil's Kiss connects. The finishing maneuver of Damian Reed. The Devil's Kiss. Hit with precision, but that's not enough to keep down the Samoan Savage. Hawaiian Steve on numerous occasions almost captured the SWF World Championship, always falls short. He hopes to change that. Right now with a vacant position for the number one contendership, he wants to impress management. He wants to prove that he deserves to be the next challenger. He wants another shot at the championship. He wants to dethrone the undisputed ace Luigi Calzone. Calzone defeated Von Stott for the SWF World Championship with the best two or three falls at the Halloween Spectacular Face Your Fears back in October. Wait a second here. Oh, down they go. Ricky Mortal. Off the ropes and dropkick takes down the Prowler. The Feaster of Fears fighting back, working on the right arm of Ricky Mortal. 
Ricky Wardo has blood all over his eyes, all over his chest, and now he's having his life force choked away. Hawaiian Steve. Oh, Hawaiian Steve went in to save his, uh, save his partner, but he was too late. Ricky Wardo already tapped out before Hawaiian Steve could kick the Prowler off of him. Looks like the win for this goes to the Hellspawners, the Prowler, and Damian Reed.